Hello everyone, welcome back to Madison, South Dakota. We're here with Alice for like our fourth encore performance. Hi Alice. Hi. Thanks so much for letting us come up again. Thanks, thanks for inviting me. Um, and I'm gonna to talk today about leftovers. All of us have leftovers. You know, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and what do you do with that? So today I'm gonna to call it fried rice. And it's ingredients that you've got that are left over. Often when you make rice, which I've got here, uh, you know, I can, at least I can never make just a little bit of rice. It's always too much. So I've got leftover rice. And lots of times when you're eating chicken, let's say, you, you can't eat it all. You've got a little bit left over, but not enough for a second serving. And so what I do is I have a little baggie that I put it in a baggie, freeze it, even if it's just a little bit. Uh, and then vegetables, anything you've got on hand uh, are good. So today we're going to use uh, uh, celery, onions, rice, chicken, peas. And because we don't have enough chicken, I'm going to use start with an egg. You always need protein. So I take an egg, You'll notice that I don't have salt or pepper here to show you because we don't want to use salt or pepper in this recipe. We're going to use soy sauce and that is salty enough. Also gives you a flavor that I like very much. So I'm going to put a couple drops of soy sauce in this egg. Scramble the egg up. And you see it changes color a bit and then turn our stove on. Right Heat it up, and I use olive oil. I guess you could use canola oil if you want, or anything you want, but I, I like the taste of olive oil. So I'm adding oil to my pan. Pan is, you wanna make sure that your rice won't stick, so you need to make, you have enough oil. And you don't, it's really a kind of a sloppy job. You're going to put the egg in so it goes all over, just flat. Just cooking the egg. And you're going to cut this egg up in pieces and put it back in once it's cooked. But you want to pre-cook the egg. And I do this because I, I could do it in a separate pan, but I want to save dishes. Mm-hmm. And so we've got it. It just for the moment goes in. I just save it away. So I, I start with what takes the longest to cook, and that is the celery. So on amounts, Alice, this, this is, is for is two about, people? Yeah, this is about a fourth of a cup of celery, and an equal amount of uh, onion. And you know, you can change this. I like the taste of celery with uh, rice. I think it tastes good. I bet it also adds a nice little texture. It adds texture, it adds flavor, and it just tastes good. Mm -hmm. So let that brown a little bit, let it pre-cook a little bit. Okay, and I've got my egg here, and I'm just gonna chop that up into pieces. Like the rest of the vegetables are in pieces of meat. And that is the last thing that'll go back in. You don't need to do this for it. You just kind of brown it. And kind of soften. See, soften it a little bit to give it a little taste better. Mix the flavors. Okay, this is a cup of rice. So whatever you've got. this These measurements do not have to be exact. Just whatever you have. You have a little bit more, a little bit less. And I know people often say with the fried rice, it's best if your rice has, you know, been in the fridge a day or so, colder. It, yeah, it works better. Wow, you could use just about anything here, couldn't you, for protein? You could, yes. If you've got leftover pork, you can use pork uh, in this very well. Leftover beef, mm -hmm. any, any kind of meat you've got. Sure. And just um, um, make more protein by adding an egg. And an egg is really... An egg is great too. 
Yeah, eggs are like the perfect protein. And right now with grocery so expensive, I know eggs have gone up in price, but not nearly the same as other protein have. Yeah. So I'm just cooking this, frying it, warming it really, because everything here has been cooked. I'm going to add some peas. These are from my freezer. But, you know, what, whatever vegetable you've got left over mm -hmm. work just fine. And I suppose people could use frozen mixed vegetables too. Yes. If they yes, want. Absolutely. There's Asian blends if you like or anything. anything. To like Another thing that would taste really good in here would be pepper. Yeah. You get peppers and green peppers. Mm -hmm. True. To add the meat. And there's the leftover chicken. And I think Alice and mentioned that this was the rotisserie chicken that she had pulled off. Yes. And those are a great value. Um, you know, they're pre-cooked, and you can eat them when you bring them home and then put away. And we've made lots of different recipes on this particular channel with leftover rotisserie chicken. That's good. Rotisserie chicken is so convenient. It is. And then this happens to be crazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> These are crazy. Just add a little bit of sweetness. I always like, you know, a little bit of sweetness and tiny food also does that. A little sweetness. That's great. And then, Alice's twist on this to add some phrases. If you don't have chicken broth, you can use water. You can use the juice off of vegetables. You just have this form of a cup. Okay. Maybe. You know, cup, warm it up. And then I use salt cup. And I'm not measuring this, I'm just kind of giving it a flavor, soy sauce. Yes, it smells good. Bring it down. And at this point, because everything is nice and hot and ready to go, we'll add the egg. This is the last thing to add, a whole egg. And the house is just a pleasant, different flavor. Beautiful colors. We got the red from the craisins. Now we added the yellow, mm -hmm. the green peas. It looks as good as it's going to taste. For, this is the whole meal. This is everything that you need. Your vegetable, your starch. Blueberries. Fantastic. Look at that. Mm -hmm. All right, she's going to taste it. Oh, she's giving me a fork for photographer as well. Yes. Oh, you know. Mm. So good. Add more soy sauce if you want it more salty or more mm -hmm. soy saucy. Mm -hmm. And enjoy the fruit with it. It's a great meal anytime. Very balanced meal. Awesome, Alice. Thanks again so much for having us. You're welcome.